You've seen me work on Chewy. I'm not working on Chewy today. We're gonna work on mittens. Obviously, I already have heads on, so you kind of missed that part, but they've been like that for a while. So I have all the other parts for the motor laid out right here. Um, flipping, let me flip, let me flip, let me flip this board real quick. So this is for mittens. I've had it kind of chilling in the back room. You might've seen it in Tanner's videos and stuff. Oh, and then we have another motor, but that's for Chewy. That's for Chewy. Uh, a lot of these parts are for Chewy. But we're gonna be working on this today. So I'm gonna, gonna try and get cams in it, get everything sealed up and have it for the most part drop and ready without uh, any of the parts that I definitely don't have. But I'll find out what I don't have and that's good. What I'm going through and I'm gonna do right now just to start out is use a Dremel, try and clean these up a little bit. Um, if you're ever doing anything like this, just lighter is better. You don't want to try and take off any excess material or anything. You're just smoothing stuff out. Right, so if you guys saw the before, I had some serious like scoring marks going along these. Yeah, you're able to clean up a lot on these guys without really causing any issues. Like I said, you want to use the lightest amount of like scotch bright you can use. Um, and it's just working back and forth just to get out those surface imperfections. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, this was the one when I tore this thing down, this was the one that was super messed up. Um, you can still see a tiny little kind of scratch in there, um, but everything is smooth. I can't feel it with a fingernail anymore. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. I'm kind of at the point where I can't really do much else on this until I get a parts washer. All in all, I'm pretty happy right now. I'm going super OCD on this thing now for some reason. So I've cleaned out all the ports and got all the uh, carbon buildup and stuff out of the intake ports and the exhaust ports. So. Um, a lot better. I haven't done this side yet, so you can see it's it's got some dirty uh, blow by and stuff on it. But everything else about this looks really good. It's kind of Barney colors and stuff, but we picked up a parts washer. Um, Tanner's got one at his other shop. Uh, we just we've needed one for here, so uh, I'm gonna get this thing set up real quick, and then I should be able to start cleaning things, which is gonna be super nice because I have a bunch of stuff on this table that looks like crap and on the ground and kind of everywhere. So I get it set up. I think I'm gonna put it like right here because that's about the only place I've got to really put it without uh, without messing with anything else. So I'm gonna get this thing set up and we're gonna start washing some parts. So I got the part washer uh, all, all set up, um, was messing with the engine a little bit, just trying to clean everything up. So I'm happy with it uh, at this point, but I realized I'm, I've got so many parts and stuff to clean uh, that I'm probably not, uh, not gonna be able to put this all together in this one video. And I really wanna make sure I pay uh, attention to detail on everything to try and get it as good as possible. So uh, like cleaning these guys up and doing all that, that takes a lot of scrubbing, a lot of hard work. So I do wanna give a little shout out here, super clean has kind of sponsored us a little bit, uh, sent some stuff over. They have this like spray foam, um, just foam you're able to spray it on and, and kind of let it sit. So let it sit for a while. I'm gonna keep, uh, keep scrubbing things in here, um, probably for the rest of the video, just to try and get everything looking really good. But I wanna show you uh, just after I had let this sit, um, and that's probably what I'm gonna do with these two because it worked out so well. Uh, so not a new camshaft. Um, this is what they all look like. They all look like crap, right? So still took maybe maybe 30 minutes to reverse 140,000 miles worth of uh, gunk and, and stuff and the oil changes that didn't work out uh, quite on time for whoever owned this before. But uh, yeah, just to compare, um, you wanna talk about a good degreaser. 
uh, if you guys are doing engine work and stuff like that. Um, yeah, generic didn't work out too well. Letting this stuff right here um, kind of sit on it just freed it up and I was able to come in with just little scrubbers and stuff. And I mean, if I can get in close, that is a uh, <laughs> insanely immaculate looking camshaft at this point. Um, so yeah, now OCD is gonna kick in. So I'm gonna I'm gonna soak the rest of them in the super clean, uh, let it hang out, and hopefully all four of these guys are gonna look uh, just this pretty, because that is superb right there. That is super clean. So uh, shout out to Super Clean. Yeah, if you guys need any type of degreaser or anything, if you got nasty engine bays, all all that stuff, I highly recommend these guys. I've used them at work for years, and obviously. It works. Too easy. Um, I'm going to go through, I'm going to polish the journals and everything on them and then one should be good. We got everything cleaned up for each one of these guys. Uh, these cams looking great as well. Uh, I do need to still kind of polish out the journals on these ones a little bit. Um, journals have already been polished on this head, so they look good, not having any issues there. Um, but I do still need to do the cam caps and just the cam carry assembly. So we're gonna get working on that, reseal this head. And that's probably where we're gonna call this good because I need a couple of parts I'm waiting on. But it's coming together. It's starting to look like a motor. Not bad. And I've enlisted Sam to help me put this side together so she can kind of learn a little bit about it. It's always so quiet when it's snowing. 
<laughs> At least one of the Volkswagen still works. I know, right? Too bad it's the front wheel drive one. Yeah. yeah you can still maybe do something in that. You can just take the take the cross track. It's not like we can fuck it up any more than it already is. Thanks. I didn't fuck it up. Honestly, you can't really tell too much anymore. <laughs> no, it it doesn't really look like it's even been hit. I don't I mean, notice it. You can it. see the crease in the fucking. Bumper. Just right, just right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. I put Chewy back in the garage. It started to snow, so we might go out and have fun with that at some point in the next. You're gonna take this out on summer tires. Dude, let's do it. They're not summer tires, they're dry, wet tires. They're, they're just not, not snow. snow tires. They're not even all seasons. <laughs> they're continental. I mean, they're yeah, kind they are. of all seasons. Continental sports, extreme contact sports. They should do okay. Um. I don't know. Or not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds fun. It sounds a lot more fun than driving the cross track. Trying to... Take the R and see how long it lasts. Trying to piddle around in this. We could do that. And take the R. I, I give it like five minutes. Yeah. I give it like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that might be good. Alright, so I got this all, all wrapped up for the most part. Both the heads are resealed. Everything's all good. We got coil packs, spark plugs, all that in there. I'm waiting on a set of FU cam bolts because I don't like using the stupid factory ones. They always strip and do dumb stuff, but we have pretty much everything else. I gotta find my uh, my crank sprocket. Where's your crank sprocket? I don't know. I don't know where that went, but uh, for right now, I think we're gonna call it good. I'm happy with the progress we've made, and I don't want to make this a uh, just an entire single video on putting this whole thing back together. But we have made some progress. So that's exciting. Uh, mittens will live again. So anyways, uh, I hope you all had a very good Christmas. Very good Christmas. Uh, in this case, uh, a white Christmas. And I will see you guys at some point in the future. But for now, be safe. Don't blow your car up. Why are you pointing at me? You're the one doing the outro. Don't blow your car up. Be safe. I didn't blow my car up. Don't let your car explode. And I... uh, yeah. <laughs> Have a good one.